We are back. Of course, it's me, Only Run Very New. But we're playing some live games here. Today, we're going against Zuri. We win the die roll, and we go first, of course. Um, my sideboard plan against them is to run every dang card in the deck and make them run out of cards first. So let's see if it works out this game. Scale Peeler, huh? That's an interesting one. Not sure it's the right call. Um, hmm. Make a search. Gain three life. And we will put one of these cards in Arsenal. I will put the Pummel in Arsenal. Now, they have a lot of Arsenal disruption, but I don't think keeping them both in hand would have been good. And we see, in hindsight, it would have been really bad because we would have just drawn two reds. We needed this third card drawn here. We don't like to block Spider's Bite at this point in the game. Eradicate. I think I'm just going to fate for seeing that and hope to uh, pummel this Command and Conquer. He could have a pump, he could have a shred, but we're not like over blocking with armor. So we're just going to fate for seeing here. And what do we have on the bottom? A Starstruck? So depending what it is, we'll put it on the bottom. Yeah, we like the blue down there. Dang, he's going to mill us for three cards. But that's just the way it is. I think this Command and Conquer Pummel is going to get uh, four cards. Which is a similar rate he just got, right? He used one, he used two cards to get three cards. And we're gonna use two cards to get four cards. Ooh, we even get a better rate. Yeah, we'll just show him all the cards here. And leave two floating. Really letting him know. But this is how we do things, and there's a pummel coming. Now they could have Oasis Respite, but they don't have Tunic up, so it'll cost them a lot of cards. Not fatigued, but from hand. He's running a full 70 as well. No Oasis Respite, please. Yeah, we got a Codex, too. Codex and a Frailty Trap. All right. Big hand, big hand. Hey, this is fine with me. It's not a dominated Crippling Crush, but... Uh, I do get to make a Surge and then throw a Crippling Crush. Which is pretty big for Fatigue. It's going to cost him two cards in armor or three cards. And we're even kind of pitch stacking like a Starstruck into a Spinal Crush into another Starstruck on the bottom. Just in case we uh, get some tempo there. We, we run 70 cards, so what would that be? That'd be turn like 17, we might be hitting it. Turn 17 and a half if that's possible. Two defense reactions isn't so great for us, but you know. One of them's Oasis Respite, so it's better he drew that this turn than last turn. We still got to pummel him, and uh, it costs him sort of a big hand here. And still get some damage in. All in all, not awful. Spider bite. I think I just take this one here. Yeah, 
threaten to annihilate the armed. I think I want to sink below the warmonger's diplomacy, looking for a blue that turns on a Nothos so that I can tear asunder. If I just tear asunder with warmonger's diplomacy, it'll only be for five. It's kind of wimpy. Um, maybe saving sink below an arsenal is like better though. Maybe I just like block two cards and hammer for four arsling sink below. Yeah, you know that's probably better. It's probably like the more disciplined play. Save the sink below for like an Azuri swap that's potentially more dangerous. Because if we sink below this, it's still going to hit, costing us two cards um, and a life. And we're not even necessarily going to get there on the blue. Kind of unfortunate I have to Oh no, it's not unfortunate. He hit us with Spider's Bite. That's pretty fortunate. We we have non-attacks we can block with. hear my phone buzzing but I ain't even worried about it I'm here for you guys right now I'm here for, I came to game yep yep we get a card and it doesn't cost us a card We don't really have to worry about flick knives and nerve scalpel at all, which is feels kind of good. We take these spider's bites. We aren't blocking spider's bite yet. Leave no witness. I think I'm just going to sink below that so that I can Zealous Belting into Choke Slam. Razor Reflex, huh? Well, he's going to get some damage in a card, but my arsenal is going to be utilized here. Bet you didn't see that coming, huh, bud? We lose a blue, so he doesn't even get a silver. And yeah, here we get to deal 13 damage. And hopefully buy ourselves a free turn cycle or get a bunch of damage. only an additional two damage over the hammer and it costs us a card from deck but I do like to sneak in the damage I don't think a choke slam and arsenal is all that relevant um, I guess I could have blocked with it last turn but I didn't know he was gonna pump up the leave no witness and I wanted to use the arsenal anyway since blocking for two with the choke slam wouldn't have stopped the leave no witness from destroying my arsenal so I was gonna have to use the sink blow anyway So I get a blood rot and I gotta put a card from my hand into my arsenal, huh? What card do I want in my arsenal? Probably just Zell's Belting. And he's gonna leave no witness. I'm gonna sink below crippling to the bottom, looking for a blue so I can zealous belting into hammer. We do not get there, but that's okay. We are still just going to make a surge and zealous belting so that we can have favor seen in Arsenal.
Not great, but when you only have 39 blues and you're running 70 cards, you're expecting in first cycle to not have super blue heavy um, draws. Like you just kind of know that it's not going to always work out for you. But it's better to attack with Zealous Bolting for 5 than it is to hammer for 4 and have a card in Arsenal that can't like be used to protect itself. Like, you can just play Fate for Scene if he does something that... Uh, either an Azuri swap into C&C, or a Leave No Witnesses, or like a Codex into Leave No Witnesses, or whatever. It can kind of protect itself versus anything except for them just throwing Command and Conquer. You strike go again, I would assume. No. He wants to try something else. Spider's bite into E strike for seven, maybe? I'm not used to playing against Scale Peeler. Maybe I shouldn't be saving my armor until late because he might be wanting to use his daggers late. Maybe I should be trying to utilize armor when I can. But not on an E strike here. Almost certainly not on E strike. I'm going to block some damage though. Scale peeler using tunic. like C and C me not sure why you would scale peeler over spiders by it but we get to just block six here maybe he didn't wanted me to like not be able to crown I don't know I'm not an Azuri player but most good Azuri players uh, I know probably wouldn't be bringing Scale Peeler. But I don't know. Maybe he's just trying something out. Maybe he played against a Bravo with Rampart of the Ram's Head and didn't want that to beat him again. I'm going to hurl. That art is so sick. Oh my god, there's like lasers. What is it? It's like a... <laughs> it looks like this, um... This assassin just like totally crashed a rave or something. That's fucked up. That was weeks ago. I'm partying, girl. Get off me. We just down here in the sewer raves chilling. Plus two. Go again. Hmm. It's a little tomfoolery. So this is like Codex of Frailty almost every time, huh? can't be Codex of Blood Rock because you need a card of hand to do something with that. Yeah, it's got to be Codex of Frailty or just Leave No Witness. I guess it could be something like a random contract card. Yeah, we just, we just block some damage. Looking to utilize our fate for scene on whatever zero for four they're throwing. Hammer for four and then arsenal unmovable. We're at the same amount of cards in uh like not in our deck, right? I got nineteen, they got nineteen. You probably can't see mine because it's hidden behind the camera or whatever, but
Flick knives? What on earth is happening? Sure, I'll take one. I will take one for sure. And now my armor is just like, I don't have to worry about utilizing my armor. I just get to do it for the rest of the game. We'll put that choke slam on the bottom to ensure it's in a hand that has a bunch of blues to lower our red count for our next hand and we don't have a surge we're not looking to make a surge this turn so it's not like the best having a red next to the terra sunder is also not the best but terra sunders don't always have to be played in this matchup sometimes they're just good to block after spider's bite as well See you spiders bite me. Even bigger than that, huh? This is where he is cooking. Scale peeler, even bigger than that. Codex of Blood Rot. He gets a command and conquer when he has a quicken token. That's that's pretty cute. That kind of messes me up here. Hmm. He could have the third Codex of Frailty. He could have the third Leave No Witness. Third Leave No Witness, not as scary. Um, just thinking about using my crown because uh, I'm under the effects of Spider Bite. So I, and I don't want to like lose the immovable for no reason. And I could also crown into a blue, which would be maybe kind of nice to be able to play the spinal. I have a fate for scene I can tuck an arsenal, so. Do I even do something like this? That way the spider's bite isn't turned on for the next one, and I can block with like a three and an iron rot legs if I need to. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm probably not going to utilize that choke slam next turn anyway. We do hit the blue. Uh, the command and conquer had go again, but he couldn't utilize it. So blocking with the choke slam there was probably ideal. Again, he uses Oasis without Tunic, which is nice. Opens up our next turn. See him pitch a Remembrance, but I don't think those Remembrances are going to matter too much. I think our fatigue rate's just way, way, way higher. Tunic, give, or oh, and take. Defended by an action card. I think I'm just going to fate for seeing this. Since I have a replacement in hand. Hmm. That might be kind of bad against the Codex, though. Maybe I just sink below? If they Codex me, though, I could get back Crippling Crush, then block with armor and throw Crippling Crush. Yeah, that's probably fine, actually. Oh, I wouldn't even have to block with armor, huh? I could just discard a blue keep two blues and a sink below and then sink below the codex leave no witnesses or whatever yeah that's actually kind of good do I want Hummel on top I've already drawn one so there's two in the deck now we'll just we'll just put one to bottom and maybe steal the game with it late if we need to 
It is the codex. So leave no witnesses. We get crippling crush. We'll discard rouse. And he plays leave no witness. He hasn't really been swapping a lot. I think sink blow is better against swap than the armor. But I think saving armor is also good. Uh, he has no scale peeler, so I don't have to worry about utilizing it. We get to use it when we want. Although, it's really only great to use against Codex of Frailty and Leave No Witness. And he only has one Leave No Witness left. It's also reasonable against like Command and Conquer after a Spider Bite or something, too. Maybe we do just block with armor. I think it's close. Problem is if he like spiders by into Command and Conquer next turn and we have Sink Blow and Arsenal that kind of sucks. Where the armor kind of plays around that better. We won't even have an Arsenal so it plays around that better. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use my Sink Blow. I think it's kind of a close decision though. Not 100% sure what is optimal. We have a frailty. Oh my gosh, our crippling crush only for 10. We're so frail. It's just such a puny attack. One of fun of. Oh my gosh, he's going to shred us for sure, or do something wild like that for sure, huh? It's just like going to happen. Do we care though? We only have 28 cards out of deck, they have 32, 33. Hmm. <laughs> no, we'll just block it. And if he shreds it, he shreds it. Oh, Black Tech Whisper. I wasn't. Th I always forget about Black Tech Whisper. Oh well. Ooh, spreading plague. That's not so strong. Just hammer for six and then arsenal and unmovable. Blocking for eight's probably bigger than it ever needs to be. Uh, blue and movable, kind of the same thing, but still allows us to interact in the reaction phase, so I don't like side it out. Sack the Swifty. He cut off his whole dang leg. You better get the other one so they're even, bro. Then you can walk around like Hank Hill's dad. Cotton. Sure. 
So these have both got to be reds. And one of them's so good he wants it in Arsenal rather than pitching them to the Spider's Bite. But then they also aren't attacks, so this is almost certainly like double defense reaction, right? We've only seen two Sink Belows. We haven't seen any Fate for Scenes. Oh, we've seen one. No, two. And the likelihood that it's what I'm thinking is low, so we'll see what he's doing, what he's up to. Yeah, we'll still just throw the Macho. I could have made a Surge and throw the Thunderquake if I thought my hard read was good, but we'll just throw Macho maybe get some damage in here. Maybe it's like go again attacks, but why wouldn't he just like play them last turn? I don't understand. Can't turn on Zealous Belting. But we could potentially like playing unmovable and then Zealous Belting for five make a Surge Arsenal Pummel or something. Surgical Extraction. I think I'm just going to immovable this for 8, and even if it's red shred, we don't get hit. Ooh, we even get his little booties. He's doing it all. Oh, and cut to the chase. And we're going to red unmovable this guy. Oh, what if this is shred, though? Now if this is shred, we're, we're no good. We're bad at the game if that's shred. But it's probably not shred if he went go again, right? Yeah. So you just, like, blow him out. That was a big, big deal. I don't want to draw Zealous Belting again, so I'm just going to play it. It's also one more point than the hammer would be anyway. And I don't think we're getting threatened to fatigue. We have 33 in Graveyard and Banish. They have 41. Yeah, that was a big blowout. Frailty Trap. He's gonna hurl! I force the issue with the pummel. Deals. I could block three to deal six more damage. Yeah, I think with his life total at 11, I can just do that. And we're not even close to getting fatigued, so. Compared to our opponent. So I don't think fatigue is a win condition for our opponent anymore. It's just a win condition for us. So we can trade damage, I think. Just sending a message to check the lag, because I knew I clicked it, and if I click it again, I might skip my dang turn. <laughs> I 
this lagging, huh? Oh yeah, I might have lagged out. Did my internet go out? No. Okay. Phew. Almost played this whole dang game to just have a video I couldn't use. Oh yeah, we're gonna pummel. Oh yeah, we're gonna pummel, baby. That's fine. That is fine. Annihilate the armed. Yeah, why not? Why not block? He's going to get fatigued out. Spider bite, we don't block those. Even bigger than that, that's fine. You can play your weird cards, get your quick in. Surgical extraction with a quick end. That is fine. I was going to block four here. I'm just going to take four here as well, so I can throw a Spinal Crush. Maybe just Hammer for six, and Arsenaling Unmovable is better, but... I'm just going to do what I'm going to do, throw the big one. Lower his hand size, get some damage. and not worry too much about what he's going to swap in because I haven't seen anything that scary. I think all of his uh, shakedowns are gone. Yeah, one, two early and he just blocked with one. So I ain't worried. I'm going to take the spider bite, yeah. Annihilate the armed. Showtime blocks three. Don't think I'm worried about getting fatigued, so I'll just take the two. He has 16, 17 left in deck with his pitch, and I have 22. Um, soon to be 24 with my pitch. Oh, he got my crippling crush. Damn. Doesn't matter, but it just feels bad, you know. I want to play that card.
It's going to block the flick knife to just not die. And then he's just not even going to have a turn. Oh, there's a death touch. I feel like I haven't seen one of those all game. Got Black Tech Whispers back and then pass. Yeah, we're going to tear Sunder again. I guess I could have dominated Choke Slam. Dominate Choke Slam Arsenal Tear Asunder. I think that was probably better. That just beats more stuff. Oh, he still can only block six. GG. Easy as that, you know. Don't bring Scale Peeler, man. Didn't do nothing.